What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dean aka The Blue Crusader and today what we're going to be doing on Minecraft is I'm going to be showing you how to use these controllers on Minecraft. A lot of you guys might not own the Windows 10 version of Minecraft, you might actually own the Java version and I'm going to be running you through a few different methods you can use to actually support controllers on Minecraft Java. So the first method we're going to use is a mod, it's actually called Mr. Crayfish's controllable mod. Now so far he's only made it work for 1.12.2, so if you're using an old mod pack or if you're using 1.12.2 for some reason then this mod can be for you. So basically all you have to do is click on downloads, I'll try and remember to put the download in the description below guys, but click on download, I'm going to download his mod, then I'm going to show you how to install it what you want to do is you want to go to the minecraft folder so type in percentage app data percentage and click on minecraft and there should be a mods folder you want to paste the jar file you just downloaded in here then we're going to launch minecraft and i'm going to show you how to use the mod now this isn't the only method i'm going to show you a few different other methods as well this is probably one of the best ones because minecraft doesn't actually have vanilla support for controllers unless you use the windows version so as you can see now we've joined the game Things are kind of weird, you can see that my controller is already automatically moving stuff, as you can see here. Now, I'm pretty sure this is designed for a PS controller, and you'll see that all my joysticks and stuff are really weird. But you'll see that it is actually working, so, like I said, everything's kind of moving by itself. Which shouldn't happen, I think my controller is just outdated. But basically, you'll see that we've kind of got a bit of controller support. You'll see the trigger, we have attack. You'll see that B doesn't really do much right now. That swaps weapons on X. A is jump. Y is to go into the inventory, which is really cool. So we can kind of move stuff about, which is really nice. And yeah, so we've got basic controller support. This is Mr. Crayfish's controller mod. Now, I think also, I think some of the other mods I've got are kind of conflicting with this. But yeah, that's basically how to use that. If you go to controls, it'll also add a little icon here, which you can click on. And it comes up with the controllers you're using. Currently, I'm using the X input controller. If you're playing on a PS4 controller, it should actually give you an option to change all the controls. For Xbox Ones, it's kind of got a default key binding system and hookup. So you'll see that I can't really change stuff, which is kind of a bit annoying. I would recommend personally using this more for ps4 controllers because that's what it's designed for but it does have basic x input or xbox 360 control support and xbox one i'm using an xbox 360 controller right now though which is kind of the same but yeah so that's how to use the mod version now we're going to jump on to one or two other methods the other method is actually switching to minecraft windows 10 now this is something you guys probably didn't want to hear by coming to this video but there's a little bit of good news attached to that. Now, Microsoft Windows 10 version has real Xbox controller input. It's, it's coded and optimized for the Xbox controller because a lot of people are using the Xbox controller on games for Windows. Now, one interesting thing is you can buy Microsoft Windows 10 Minecraft off the Windows Store. But what's actually really interesting, which might be good news for some of you guys, if you actually purchase the game before October the 19th, 2018, which is actually pretty good because that's quite recent. Most of us bought the game way before that. If you bought the Java edition before October 19th, if you go on your Mojang account under Minecraft for Windows 10, it should actually give you a button to redeem it for free and it'll give you a code. You just log into your Xbox or Windows account and you'll actually get Windows 10 for free. So if you bought Java edition really early, you can actually use this Windows 10 edition. And as you can see, I'm just gonna click play. I'm not 100% sure how you actually do figure out the Xbox import. I think okay so we go to controller and we kind of configure everything here as you can see we can kind of configure all the controller and stuff it has xbox support i'm not entirely sure guys if this supports xbox 360 controllers it might only support xbox one now i'm using xbox 360 and i know that microsoft always want you to buy the newest products so i wouldn't be surprised if this didn't work for old xbox 360 controllers which a lot of us still use on pc all i can tell you is that it definitely works for the Xbox One PC controllers. So that's another way you can actually use controllers on PC. This version probably won't work with PS4 inputs though because obviously this is a Microsoft version of the game so they're not gonna add input for a competitor. This is how you can use Xbox only controllers on Minecraft. The controller mod I showed you before works for 360, Xbox One and PS4 controllers. So yeah, that's just two methods guys, how to use controllers on PC, a mod edition and an official edition. The first one's how to use it on Java and the second one is how to use it 
on PC Minecraft Windows 10. Now there is one last solution I'm going to show you. Now the last method I'm going to show you, I can't actually demonstrate this on video because I don't personally own this software. I have seen people use it in the past. You do have to buy it but it's only £5.99 so it's actually really cheap. But there's a software out there called Xpadder and basically what it does is you can assign PC keys to certain buttons on your controller and use it as an input for literally any game. So if you do use this software or buy it then you can actually get the controller to work on nearly any PC game that doesn't support it so you could also use that on Minecraft Java Edition as well so that's all three methods I have for you guys if any of these methods helped you guys use controller definitely smash the like button and subscribe drop a comment below thanks for watching and I'll see you next time